Guardian Games released today, and I, uh have already gilded the title at least i think i've gilded it because i think i might be one of the first people to find a bug that you cannot actually gild the title right now honestly i've checked everywhere and not a lot of people have it yet so nowhere on bungie's website or bungie help nowhere is talking about it but i simply just cannot equip it and as you see i have completed all 20 of the challenges now you might be thinking why would i go through that much pain just to unlock this title and in all honesty there really isn't a reason i just enjoyed grinding the game and i had time to do it today so i just went on and did it and also the fact that there is the brand new scout rifle that i wanted and after getting about 50 of the scout rifles to drop of course i did not get the one i wanted if you were curious about the one i wanted though i do have a video on the channel you can check out and i go over all the god rolls for both weapons and also just what i personally want but regardless of all that i want to talk about exactly what i did to actually get all these challenges completed this fast because obviously i know a lot of you want to get stuff done quick but you probably just don't have the time to or even if you do have the time to and you just want some faster strategies and maybe try something else to what you're already doing i really hope this video can help you all out all right so i'm going to try to go over these triumphs and just kind of talk about how i did them and my philosophy behind what i did just to start off though these triumphs are going to basically be all around just playing crucible or doing the nightfalls for it i personally started off with crucible which you can totally do nightfall first if you want to but just be aware that things like bronze silver gold platinum are all just triumphs that will actually just progress as you keep dunking things over and over again so you don't have to worry about focusing these too much and even things like in it to win it is just earning a medallion and dunking it so you would just kind of earn this in the background over time and then for gilding there is another one called going the distance which is essentially just the same thing you just have to bank enough medallions to get to this point again just let all that stuff work in the background now some other triumphs to note that you could do in the background is things like pull some strings you do have to actively do these but they will work in nightfall or crucible so you just defeat targets or assist teammates with strain damage so just make sure you're using a strain weapon now what's also really cool is that there's classy arsenal so you just have to defeat targets with a guardian games weapon so obviously if you're trying to use a strain weapon and a guardian games weapon use the brand new sky rifle that you get for just turning in the initial quest and you can start working on those together at the same time the other thing is there's also one for talented scouts to be targeted scout rifles so with just using the guardian game scout rifle you're completing all three of these triumphs at the same time which is really really cool and again this can be either crucible or nightfalls so you already have nine which is almost half of the progress it takes to actually just guild stuff in the background which is very very good now like i said in the beginning i started off with crucible so i'm working on friendly rivalry this is just going to give me some completion after i do crucible matches i literally never had to worry about gambit at all I never touch gambit doing this entire thing also press collector always make sure you're collecting as many credits as possible because this will also go towards that progress and then also hall of fame you need to be aware of because this is for both you basically just have to get a score of 30 in supremacy if you struggle with that just really try to focus on picking the crest up as much as you possibly can don't even worry about killing people just run and go get them and deathless ops will get back into a second which could be a little bit harder for some people but i promise you can definitely do it uh post editing note i definitely do not ever go back to that after being up for so long i guess i just kind of forgot about it but essentially with the nightfall one you just have to complete one without dying so just play in the back of the map if you're using that strand scout rifle anyway to complete those other triumphs you could definitely just do a much slower run sure you're not going to be farming it as fast but just to secure your flawless run of it i definitely think it's worth it if you are struggling with it you can definitely do it and i 100 believe in you and finally of course we have good games so you just defeat targets in supremacy and then class pride so you just complete supremacy match is all of this will count towards together so you're always completing these crucial things and all you really have to do is just always play supremacy just play the mode that is currently available with the event and within just probably 10 to maybe 15 games if you're slaying out you will have all these done now important thing to note is that obviously always go pick up a brand new bounty from eva i started off with just doing the lesser ones just getting some medallions just to earn them really quick to start banking them up over and over again and if you're starting off with crucible make sure you get the crucible ones this will start going into your things like in the card so you can start completing these and typically if you're slaying out pvp it took me around two games just to complete one so you definitely will start racking these up fast especially once you start getting into your nightfalls but once you've done all those just transfer over to nightfalls and start working on those now i do want to go on and mention that the nightfall is what takes the longest you have things like up for the challenge where you just have to complete guarding game up nightfalls this thing 
progresses so slowly compared to everything else you will be on this for a while but what's really cool is that at least today i'm not sure if it exactly will change but the nightfall is actually on neomuna so there's another thing called cloud running where you guys have to complete activities on neptune which also takes a very long time but if you are doing the nightfall on neptune you will actually do both of these at the same time the cloud running from my experience does earn a little bit more so you will complete that one before up for the challenge but you only have to do like one or maybe two nightfalls after that and that will be at 100 so definitely take advantage of that while that's around because you can just bang out two of them for just for the price of one and then circuit training is also a thing where you just have to complete dares fraternity vanguard ops or defiant battlegrounds again i only did the vanguard ops nightfall i never touched dares i never touched the defiant battlegrounds i only did the guardian games activities between supremacy and the vanguard op nightfall things and once again, while I was doing the Nightfalls, I actually started picking up the Platinum cards from Eva Levante to complete because they will actually earn you Platinum medallions, which will count more for your Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, and even going the distance. And also the fact that there is Record Setter, so you will have to actually uh, do Platinum cards. And I know a lot of people are doing the Neomuna farm. If you don't know, you can actually just load up into the Breakneck mission, get to this checkpoint you see on the screen right now, just farm these ads over and over again, and you just complete the Neo Muno Platinum Bounty very quick. But as of right now, that actually does not count towards Record Setter. At least it didn't for me. So I ended up actually swapping over to doing Lost Sectors, running those back and forth just to finish this bounty out. But you will get a good chunk of this completed if you are picking up those Platinum Nightfall Bounties while you're working on your Nightfall Challenges. Because again, this is the grind. This is what takes you a long time between Cloud Running and Up for the Challenge. You're gonna be in that playlist for a while. So you might as well be taking advantage of it, picking those Platinum cards up just so you can start working on record setter and that will also fully max out your in the cards as well and literally everything should be done after that if it's not you'll probably be left on going the distance just to finally dunk those final medallions that you need to get this maxed out so if you do need to just farm these really quick i highly would recommend the neo Muna farm i was talking about just grab a neptune bounty go to that checkpoint kill the ads rinse and repeat and you'll get them relatively quick that's personally what i did to fully top this off as well remember always run that guardian game scout rifle so you can get those strand kills those scout rifle kills and also that guardian games weapon kills and you should have this done in no time it took me around 12 hours of grinding to get this done which obviously is a lot but just for one day in a three week event you can definitely get this done relatively easy even if you are taking your time but just be aware that it seems like it's currently bugged because i'm 20 of 20 and i I, there's there's nothing I can do for gilding champ but I, as you see I do have all the gilding requirements done it's just not gilded for some reason I've reset the game I, I I don't know what to do but it is bugged currently so Bungie if you're watching this uh be aware of that and hopefully you can get it fixed soon anyways that's gonna do it all for me I really hope this video helped you all out let me know if you are going to be grinding for this if you even care about getting your champ title or gilding it I wish you all the best of luck if you are going for it and as always if you didn't join learn anything new consider subscribing drop a like turn those notifications on also if you like join my discord or following any of my socials all that will be linked in the description as well but just know watching this video is way more than enough and that every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace